relax now. Mark time, mark. Detail, oh, left, face. Well, it's truly an honor for me to be a part of this ceremony. And as Lincoln said in the Gettysburg Address, his words could never hollow the sacred ground upon which they stood, for it was the blood of the fallen that did that. And so no words we say or no prayer we pray can hollow this moment. It's the sacrifice of those who have given their lives that hollow this moment. And the sacrifice for which we're most grateful, of course, is not just Jeffries and the countless others who have given their lives for family and friends and love of country, but it's the greatest sacrifice of all. It's the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that He made for every man and woman and boy and girl. And you've probably always heard that the Lord calms the storm of life. And, and I think Jim and Julie Webb here are great testimonies to the fact that God, in fact, doesn't always calm the storm. Sometimes Christians, too, have to weather the deepest, darkest night of the soul. But what he, do, what he does always promise to do is to always calm His children though the storm rages around them. And in these two precious parents, I've seen the Holy Spirit do a great work of comfort and care. Though they lost their son, who was obviously more precious to them than any of us could imagine, the Lord has comforted them and helped them through this. And they have been a blessing to many in this community and their faith has been a strong beacon of life for others who have lost loved ones and others who have gone through difficult times. And it's the life and love of Christ that burns brightly inside of them. And Jim and Julie, we honor you today and thank God for your faith. And we thank God for Jeffrey and we thank God for his sacrifice. And I'd just like to pray now together as we, as we ask the Lord to, to just make this moment memorable for us in our hearts and as we as we ask God to just smile upon this moment and this time together, would you just join me in a moment of prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank You so much because we know that You are God above all and You are Lord of all things. You are Creator of the universe. And we confess, Lord, that as Your creations, we don't always understand why things happen the way they do, why the good seem sometimes to suffer and those who are evil and unjust seem sometimes to be free and, and without consequence. But we know, O oh Lord, that ultimately You have promised us that You will right every wrong and that You will silence every opposition to Your rule. And we thank You, Lord, that in the meantime, when good people suffer because of evil in the world, we thank You, Lord, that You promise as well to be there with us, to comfort us, Though the storm rages around us, You speak peace to our hearts. And I thank You, Lord, so much that You've done that for Jim and Julie Webb. I thank You so much for the life of Jeffrey. I thank You, Lord, for the testimony and the beacon of light that Jeffrey was to his friends and to the, to the brothers in his, uh, in, who served alongside of him, all around him. And, and uh, I thank You, Lord, for the fact that even today those men testify to how Jeffrey impacted their lives because of his testimony of faith. And I pray, Lord, that that testimony of faith would move forward and Jeffrey's sacrifice would count for something and this moment that he hallowed with his blood would be augmented by your Spirit and that you would cause this moment to be memorable for each of us. And we see one of these flags. We see Jim and Julie. We see that gold star. And we think of what this day and this time signifies. 
that we would remember your ultimate sacrifice and how you provide peace and hope for us all in the midst of a despairing world. It's to your hope now that we look, Lord. It's to your light in the midst of a darkness that we turn. For it is, we know, our only hope. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come today and to memorialize Lance Corporal Red Webb and his service through this flag. And we also come to remind the family that they're not forgotten about or alone in this journey. As we are called into sacred duty into our into the service for those of us who are called, we know that is it's not that simple. As we make our choices and we go into service, sometimes uh, inevitably having to make the ultimate sacrifice, uh, what happens is is that our loved ones and our family make that same journey as we go through the peaks and the valleys of a career or the challenges of combat. Also, the loved ones and the families left behind you as well. So, we let you know that you're not forgotten. This flag is to forever memorialize your loss. But we also know God says that He never leaves us nor forsakes us. And we also know that the greater love that does that man have in this is to lay down his life for his friends. The military community is vast with his family and the members who have served past, present, and those that serve the future. You will never be forgotten about who will always be on us. God bless you. Let's pray. Almighty God, as we come before you today, we pray peace and your blessing on this journey for this family. For we know where Lance Corporal Webb is. The absent in the body is to be in the presence of Almighty God. I pray for peace this day forward as they walk a journey, that you walk in them through them, that their, their son will, memory will never die, but live as he left his good things, his, his good points with everybody that he knew and touched. For we're never forgotten about, for our memory and our soul lives on in those who loved us and cared for us. And then before we know it, we all will meet together again in the streets of glory. For this, I lift this family up to you. May your blessing and your courage continue to live in them, through them, to inspire others that may have to go through these, these same journeys. I lift up this day to you, Father, and I pray these things in Jesus' great name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Order. Arms. Left. Face. Forward. March. First off, I, I do want to echo what Pastor Ryan or Pastor Jeff said earlier. Um, it is the grace of God that gets us through this. Um, that peace of God is very real. Um, it, it's, it's very real. And He sees us through so much more than the dark nights when nobody's around. He's with us. And, that, and if any of you ever want to talk to me about that, I'd be glad to talk to you. I know somebody will help you. And I mean that. And what I want to say now is how honored I am. And I'll, I'll put my hand on Brian because he represents you all. But understand, I'm saying this to every one of you. I am so very honored and so very thankful and so very humble that you would take your time and you would come out here and you would honor our son. Thank you. Bless you. Sincerely bless you from the bottom of my heart. I cannot tell you how very grateful I am to every one of you. You've served. You've given. You've all laid down your lives in one way or another. Some of you serve it actively. Some of you could be serving soon. Um, we're free. We had this yard. We had this flag because of men like you. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You'll always be family. Thank you. Again, I, I just want to thank everybody for coming out today. Um, I especially want to thank the Webs for giving us this opportunity um, to honor them and to honor their son and just to, to ensure that they never that they never forget that there's a whole community of people that love them and care for them and they hold them close to them and as far as they're concerned that they are our family. Um, Jeffrey is our family. So again, I want to thank everybody for coming out today um, and just thank you so much for giving us this Thank you. Thank you all. It's impressive. Y'all are impressive. You know? You really are. Thank you.